What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In that What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. As you all know, I ended up breaking my hand on my last fight, so I won't be doing anything too physical today. But what I will be doing is breaking down in my Harry Potter Hufflepuff jacket my favorite striking sequence in my fight versus Kevin Holland. So this sequence is something that a lot of people have asked me about. Uh, a lot of commentators and things like that were talking about during the fight. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys break this fight, this this sequence down, and hopefully, guys, give you all some tips that will help you pull this combination off, either in sparring or in your next fight. Let's get into the video. My fight with Kevin Holland. This is the sequence that we kind of have here for you. And I'm going to kind of lead y'all into the sequence, uh, the, uh, my, the combination. So right now, Kevin Holland has me up against the fence. I'm dipping, ducking, diving, and dodging. And I knew during this fight, if I kept Kevin Holland on his heels, um, literally went from one end of the cage to the next. Let me pause it right here real fast. As you can tell, you know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Let me back it up for you just a little bit. Now, I knew during this fight if I kept Kevin on his heels, he didn't very, fight very well on his, uh, backing up, so that was kind of the game plan. Get him to the fence and go from there. Now, let's watch this sequence first, and then we'll break it down. So right now I've got, I blitz Kevin all the way to the other side of the cage, and here we go. One, two, one, two, spin hook kick. Now, from, from where you guys are looking, from how you guys are, the camera view, it looks like I was literally up against him when I threw the spin hook kick. But what happened was, you have a lot of guys, depending on what side forward they have, a lot of people try to lean away from your power hand. So in this combination, this sequence, I have my left foot in front, which means my power hand was my back hand, my right hand. A lot of people fade to the opposite side of that hand. So if I was throw my right hand, my opponent would, would lean towards his right or my left to stay away from it. Me knowing that, I kind of set up that spin hook kick off of that. So I knew he was kind of leaning in that direction. It looked like I was a little closer when I really was. You do have to be fairly close and you got to learn to do a spin hook kick kind of in one, one spot. But I got him leaning that direction, which made it perfect for me to throw that spin hook kick. He blocked it, but after throwing that sequence, it made him think he has to he has to be prepared at any second at any time during the fight. So let's watch this bad boy again. Okay. Up against the fence. Blue blitz time. Pop pop. Now if you notice when I when somebody fires at me, I try to immediately answer back. Cuz what happens is guys will fire at you and they'll back up for a second to kind of see or, or I wouldn't say um, admire what they just done, which they just did, but they back up to see what your reaction is going to be, or they try to reset, and that's when you got to go at them. Is in that in that in that mind in that mindset when they're stopping to think about what to do next. That's when you got to go. So he's throwing the combination. Bop, 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 I'm ducking. Boom! I'm right back on him. See how he kind of turned and fade away, and I was back on him, which allowed me. Here he goes. One, two. He leans that direction. Boom. He kind of fades that way, kind of leans that direction. Let's do it again. Now, what helps is to make the one-two as long as possible. I cannot be up against my opponent throwing the one-two, one-two there. Now, you can throw a spin back kick to the body from that from that area, and you can throw a spin hook kick, but you, your, your distance management has got to be really on point. So, for instance, I try to make my techniques as long as possible. Okay. Now, if you notice, you see Kevin Holland, his face is kind of starting to lean away from my right hand. So he's leaning into my spin back kick. Boom. Bang. There it is. The one, two spin kick. Let's watch it one more time. Boom. Here we go. And one. Okay. Here we go. One, two. One, two, see, that, now he, he started to move that direction. So number one, they don't see it coming. Number two, it makes the technique that much more powerful. Now in this instance, uh, Kevin Holland had a hurt right hand, so I didn't care if he blocked it or not. As long as I was hit, if, if I was hitting him in the face and knocking him out, awesome. Or if he blocked it, 
I'm still hitting that injured hand. So it didn't really matter to me if he blocked it or not. So a few tips. One, make sure your jab cross is as long as possible. You don't even have to hit him with it as long as you're getting a reaction from it. Subconsciously, whoever you're fighting, if they're a good fighter, they'll try to stray away from your power hand and lean that direction. Two, practice working your spin hook kick in one spot. Try not to cover any distance, just try to spin almost like a pirouette in one area. And that's just over and over, hundreds and hundreds of repetitions on the bag. Once you have that down, then I want you guys to start practicing and sparring practice and, and really work in that because it will be effective and people don't see it coming in an actual fight. The jab cross into the spin hook kick. I love this combination when I have guys up against the cage. I hope it works for you. Now it's time to go practice. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, throw some comments down below and hit us with some likes. We appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this content. Catch you guys later. Peace.